Greetings friends and welcome to the Watershed Wednesday video series brought to you by Friends of the St. Clair River, showing 40 miles of love to the St. Clair River and its tributaries since 2007. I'm science communications intern Blake Short and I'll be your guide through this series as we go out and explore the St. Clair River and its sub-watersheds. So please stay tuned and I hope you enjoy the video. All right, so today's video takes place along the Black River and we're walking a scenic trail upstream through the Comstock Hills. And you can find this spot by taking Comstock Road west and parking at the bottom of the hill and there's a yellow gate at the beginning of the trail. Once you get through this little tight area, it opens up into some really nice forests and we're going to see several habitat changes along the way. So stay tuned and we'll get to the river shortly. And this particular habitat zone is really unique because we have some uplands to the right over here. But we've also got the river on our left as we're walking along this trail. So we get a good mix of lowland deciduous and upland deciduous trees. So we've got a lot of basswood, some American elm, some eastern cottonwood, and then as you get farther up this hill, you see a lot more American beech, red oak, white oak, um, black cherry, and unfortunately, lots of dead ash logs through here. like trees this is a great trail to walk on because you see quite a variety of different species because we're kind of meandering through these different habitat zones so we get those water trees and then we get our upland trees and they kind of we're, we're we're in the dividing area we're on the fringe of both of them so this is really a unique place to come and check out some beautiful trees is what I don't like to see. This is an amazing campsite. Apparently, it's close enough to haul your stuff in, but it's too far to take it with you. Unfortunately, this can be a common occurrence out here in the state game area, so bring a trash bag with you. Duty calls. Grab this on the way back out. This sucker's heavy. Alright, now that the hard work is done, let's get back to the trail. Golly, that was a lot of garbage.
All right, so we're at the point of the trail. So you can take a right here and you walk through another hemlock section, but you can take a left here and you can get closer to the river sooner. I'm gonna go walk on top of this terrace and then we'll get into a little higher elevation area in those hemlock trees. Maybe I can get some of the river in the background here. We're getting down. There's usually a nice little riffle right at the end of this trail. There's another campsite down there too. So hopefully this one's in good shape because I'm out of trash bags. But this is just an awesome trail section right here. But what I really love about this spot is that we are so far north in the state game area we're away from all of those busy roads and like around 136 you generally hear a lot of traffic out here you don't hear any traffic this place is quiet sometimes you bump into some people but for the most part this is usually a very quiet walk so you can see behind me there this is the main trail back there is where i came from And this is the end of this trail. Get down this little hill. We're right on the river. Got a fire pit already. Nice hemlocks behind us. All right, so let's get down a little closer to the water, have a listen, relax, and enjoy this beautiful scenery. Just pop down here and take a listen real quick. We're at the end of the trail, and that means it's the end of the line. That's all the time I've got for this week's Watershed Wednesday video. I hope you enjoyed the experience that I shared with you, but I'm also interested in what you experienced. What did you see? What did you hear? What did I miss? Leave me a comment in the comment box below, and don't forget to subscribe to the Friends of the St. Clair River YouTube channel so you don't miss my next journey on Watershed Wednesday. Also, be sure to visit scriver.org, sign up for our newsletter, and we'll fill you in on what we're doing and how you can help. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next week.